Hi, Gloria Douglas here, a licensed real estate agent in Las Vegas, Nevada. I do work with the NACA program or clients that are going through the NACA program. I have never worked for NACA and I do not currently work for NACA. I just believe in their product and so I try to assist buyers that are going through the process. So today I want to go over FHA or VA versus NACA. So as you know, uh, here in Las Vegas, I did a video already stating that NACA in Las Vegas is very, very behind. And that's because of staffing. Um, also, in other parts of the country, I understand are also behind. There are some other complications that they have, other problems that they have going on. I can only speak on Las Vegas because that's the office that I deal with is a Las Vegas office. So I'm going to do the pros and cons for both. That way you can make an intelligent decision as to whether you should even stay with the NACA or you should not. NACA offers no down payment, no closing costs, and no appraisal fee to the home buyer. The downside to that here in Las Vegas is that down payment assistance programs will not work with you. So that's the WISH program, that's the home at last, home as possible, and also culinary. You will not get those funds. They will not participate with NACA at all. Um, the other disadvantage to working with NACA is if time is not on your side, meaning that you have minimum six months or longer to purchase a property, then NACA is not going to be the product for you. If you have six months or more to go into a property, then NACA can still be the, the product for you. Understand that you are going to have to, um, what I, I suggest to my clients, get a folder, a binder, something. Keep all of your documents in it because you are going to have to sometimes, being gentle here, huh? Sometimes um, submit items multiple times majority of the time that's the norm you have to submit them multiple times just send it i already sent this here it is again that's how it is that's the work of the beast it's like their computer system each documentation i don't know bring your folder with you when you go to your closing so that you have everything because i have been at a closing they needed something from a client the client had it in her binder so she was able to give it to the to the notary right then and there so we didn't have to uh, hold off on the notarizing so that's some of the the you know the cons of dealing with naca it is a slow process plan to possibly have several extensions that has been their process that has been the norm lately um at least one extension i've only had one in a year and a half almost two years i've been closing naca deals i've only had one that has actually closed on the date that they were scheduled to close all the rest of them i've had anywhere from one extension up to three maybe four extensions and with the extension, that means that your closing date has been changed. We're not closing this date. We're going to close in another week. Oh, okay, well, that week gets here. We're not closing this day, so we have to put it out for another week. So that is one of the things that does happen with NACA. The pros to going with um, FHA, VA, or other conventional products is uh, they do work with down payment assistance programs, so you'll be able to get some money towards those things. The process is faster. You can have a 30, 45, or even a 60-day close, depending on where you are with your purchasing. Um, and you have more, more freedom as far as less paperwork. You don't have as much paperwork to do as you have to do with NACA. And you can also have investment property with conventional. You cannot with FHA. You cannot with VA. But that will allow you to also have investment property. And you can also, um, you can also have um, as many homes as you want with those other with the um, with the conventional product. Now, when it comes to, 
I guess the downside for some people when it comes to down payment, closing costs, um, earnest money, not earnest money, down payment, closing costs, and appraisal fee, you as the buyer are the one that is responsible for paying those things. You're coming out of pocket, but that's why you also have down payment assistance if you qualify for those programs. Um, some people don't want to do that, but then, you know, it just kind of depends on where you are. So basically you're paying your own stuff, but you do have a shorter time frame of being able to get into your home and you have less documentation. You also have less buying power. So a $150,000 limit is a $150,000 limit. I can stretch that with NACA going through their process. I cannot stretch it when it comes to FHA, VA, or other conventional products because um, you that means that you're going to have to come out of pocket with more money in order for me to stretch that. And when I say stretch, I mean take you from 150000 up to, say, 160000 With NACA, I can do that. FHA, VA, and other con traditional conventional, I cannot do that. So those are some of the pros. Those are some of the cons. Um, I think that you have to find out where you are with your process. You have to know yourself to know the kind of patience level that you have. If you're the kind of person that does not like paperwork, then you need, need to look at some of these other programs. If you are the kind of person that you're like, you know what, I want to go ahead and you've made up your mind or you're in a situation of where you cannot wait for six months to a year, then you're going to want to look at FHA and VA. If in a other conventional, um, but you have to make a decision because to try to play both sides against each other, you're going to go crazy and you don't want to try to, well, I'm going to do over here for NACA, but then I'm still going to work over here because you're going to have to write so many letters of explanation as to how come you're looking at this lender over here and you're looking at this lender over here and trying to see which one is going faster. FHA and VA is going to go way faster than NACA is going to do. Is NACA a good product? Yes, it is a very good product. However, um, they are very, very slow when it comes to what they are doing. So you'll want to um, just kind of look and see where you are and then, don't turn it on yet, please. Uh, look and see where you are and then make your determination. And if you need some guidance with that, I will be doing a video also about some classes that I will be holding Please excuse that noise in the background. <laughs> so I shine. <laughs> Someone just came in while I'm filming. He's trying to eat because I guess he's really hungry. So I am filming. So, um, so yes. Yeah, so I will be holding some classes. They will be probably begin in October to help you with deciding what products going to, going to be best for you and also to help you get all of your documentation and everything pre, um, prepared. It is by invitation only. You do have to be living here in Las Vegas and getting a loan here in Las Vegas at least and I will be able to assist you with that. So until then, like, subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to talking to you soon. Remember, home ownership is possible. Have a great day. Bye-bye.